hello, and welcome once again to Crazy Comics and Stories. It's me, your charming and delightful old Uncle Rap Bastard, and I do not have Joe on the other end of the series of tubes and wires because we recorded this episode last weekend. That's right, last weekend we went on a road trip. Ah, feels like it was months ago, but no, it was just last weekend, and I haven't even brought in my uh, comics from the car yet, because I've been uh, taking them to work and reading them there. But uh, we went on a road trip to find the original owner of Hot Comics St. Paul, and we brought along Butch, because Butch is able to come along on road trips, even though he's not able to show up for the podcast for some reason. I, I, I don't know. But this is our road trip from St. Paul, Minnesota to Menominee. And yes, they do, we do use that joke. We had a good talk going until a truck tried to run us off the road. <laughs> Holy truck, truck, I don't understand. We ate our donuts. We got to upgrade. I like it at comic books. Got to upgrade them donuts, boys. All right, so the mission today, we have rumor that Brian Messick has a comic, oh no, he has a toy shop Brian. in Messick. No Iron Man figures. In Mon <laughs> Menominee, yep, no Iron Man figures, but he's in Hold Menominee. Hold on to All right, everybody sing along. Menominee. Da, 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 da. Menominee. Do, do, da, do. Menominee. Do, da, do. Do, 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 uh, Eau Claire. Eau Claire. Well, there's a comic shop close by to his store. But and then there's a, another comic shop in Claire we're going to try and get him. Oh. Now, due to awesome communication, Corey and I hung out at Epic Comics, which I don't have any card for, but he's in... What, what part of town is that? Is that Oak Hill? That is... Uh, I believe that's the Maplewood side. Okay. So he's oh, in Maplewood. I, we've been there before. I've been there before. We've talked about it a bit. Uh, I just heard of it going. at the con. He's got a sale going where he was blowing a bunch of $5 stuff out. Oh. Corey and I went nuts. Well, anything we under $5 was a dollar. was a buck. Anything unmarked was a buck. And anything over $5 was $100. That's how we... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's 20% off. So I just kind of, I just concentrated on anything that was 5 bucks or under. Same here. We, we, we. So I ended up like, what about it? 97 comics? Were I couldn't get a 97? I could have helped. Oh. Were, were there uh, trades? He had a bunch of trades at five bucks off. I need to read them. No, now he's open until eight. Yeah. He's open until eight, so on the way back, we, we couldn't stop mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. So He's probably waiting for you. He, he might. So, but Corey, the first time you and, were there. And, yeah, and he was watching the Batman on a big screen. Oh, which was great. I, uh, I never watched those when they had, he was with uh, Dick, I felt like a young Dick Grayson. Mm -hmm. It was just fun. So what was your impression of the store, Mr. Strode? Um, all back issues and Menominee, my figures 37 miles. Menominee, 37. I'll just sing over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's always good for the sound. Yeah. 37 miles to Menominee, that was the genesis of that um, interruption. He said he was blowing stuff out to make room for more stuff than he had. Uh, he had a really cool video game in the back. I don't know how legal it is, but it's one of those that's got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of games on it. Yeah, those are... So, you know, quarter to play. Uh, you turn the joystick to see all the hundreds and hundreds <laughs> of games. An hour, An hour later, you're yeah. like, I, I wanted to play the one on your I, I don't have time to play. Can we go? <laughs> Can I get my quarterback? <laughs> We're at Dragon's Lair. Sorry, that was the game. Dragon's Lair. Wow. I watched one guy once at an arcade finish and the whole finish the game and everybody was like gathered around like Yeah. What he, arcade? Uh Rockefeller's up where oh, yeah. the yep. source used to be. Yep. Quiet, they're watching us. That used to be down in our neighborhood before really? we moved up there, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, over uh over in the over where, by where the Phelan Shopping Center was yeah. back in those days. Yeah, That's I where it was. That. My dad used to like to go there because there was a ward there and they had because the place was decrepit and failing, they always had the best deal. So you drive all the way over to that wards. Oh, no, the wards, like wards, yeah, yeah. Montgomery wards. Um, 
Look I it up, you kids. Said, I thought you said they had awards there, and it kind of was kind of lost. They get awards. Rockefellers, when I was in fourth grade, and it was in our neighborhood, it was an arcade in the sense that there were some black and white video games and a bunch of uh, and uh, pin, pinball and uh, pool tables, you know, before, before it was a big wizard. video arcade place. And they have Death Race. <sighs> what, which one was Death Race? Death Race is where you, it's a car driving game, except you get points for running over the people. No, they didn't have that. No. But I, I would have remembered that, even though I didn't when, you, when I asked. They had the black and white uh, sprint race car game with the steering wheels where you, you're winging around the track, and there was a few different tracks you could choose. They had the the uh, cowboys that shoot through the covered wagon. They oh, shoot yeah. Through, yeah, I the remember black that. And white, yep, yeah, and, yeah. And Pong, of course, and, it, and they, those old black and white games. And in fact, that was before Space Invaders, even, which came out right around then. But, Dude, Space Invaders came out in 78. That's what I said, god dang it. Arr, dude, dude, a golden dude, age. Dude, 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 dude. There you go, ladies dude. and gentlemen. The soundtrack to Space Invaders. Cool. Soundtrack to Space Invaders. You got your 25 cents, wife. And when I did discover Space Invaders, and I was never a video game guy, but it was at the bar across the street from the apartments where I lived. And so we were in the bar all the time. Yeah. At nine years old. Well, that's important. Well, need to learn the one neighborhood go to bars early. The one neighborhood kid's mother worked there, and they had a couple of bowling alleys. So Joe was there. Probably. No, I just I'm, I'm just having flashbacks because like we used my dad would take us out of school early and we'd pile into a van or a pickup or whatever. Go to Death Valley, Arizona. No, I never made it, but we'd go like to Yellowstone, Grand Canyon. <laughs> so you're you're on the right track. But <laughs> we, always, have eyes. we always wanted to stop at KOA campgrounds because uh-huh. they had two things: a swimming pool mm-hmm. and a video arcade. Oh. And depending on how bad the weather was, my dad's like, "Ah, we're just gonna pull over here in this cornfield." And, no, we gotta go to a KOA. <laughs> <laughs> And the, today they still have those same swimming pools. At the same water. In the same water. And the same video games. And the same owners. How think you're going to go to the camp box over there? And that's where you put the tent. Where you go there instead? Cast you the kids don't pee in the pool. There's no more room. <laughs> it's you, closed. If you pee in the pool, it turns red. Don't so pee in the pool. It's just good enough reason to pee in the pool. Yeah. It's red everywhere. It's a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, I know, because it was blue. Yeah. I love how I was like, slow down to 60 because it's in this, and I'm, I'm doing it, and everybody else is speeding up. When we were talking, that uh, they can't do 100. <laughs> oh? When we were talking last time we were driving <laughs> about our. Uh, a Joe that's Prize. A, a Joe Prize for anybody who can remember which episode that was. A Joe Prize, yep, and the prize, the Joe Prize will be what's coming up. Uh, Corey's. Corey's favorite comic book was This Man, This Monster, and mine was the uh, Frightful Four of taking over the Baxter building and recruiting new members issue of the Fantastic Four. We were, so we were both the Fantastic Four, but the question wasn't what's your favorite issue of the Fantastic Four, it was <laughs> what's your favorite you know single comic, which is an, a, kind of an absurd idea, but we both had answers. What was yours, Joe? I was trying to think of that, and I couldn't. I don't, I don't think I ever gave one. No. I, my problem is, is what comes to right away to mo- the mind is uh, Wildstorm Spotlight number one. Alan Moore's story where Mr. Fantastic, I'll say Mr. Perfect, Mr. F- uh, Majestic. Majestic. Yeah, it wasn't Mr. Fantastic, you Wildstorm. Mr. X, no, one of them. But uh, Mr. Majestic Mr. is Nightcrawler. like one of the last beings in the universe because the universe yeah, is slowly yeah. deteriorating. Yeah. And he's flying. And forward he, with whoever survives. He's got like a sentient STD inside him. He's got a uh, woman. He's, he's got the... Who he got it from. The typical... Uh, actually, I think that's where he, he gets it from her. Because during one of the breaks, they have sex. And then he gets infected because she wants to stay behind. And the disease wants to go on. They pick up the wandering Jew who's never... never he's cursed to never die. But it was an Alan Moore story, and it's just utterly fantastic. Yeah, he wrote my favorite issue. And of course, the next couple issues, oh. couldn't tell you what they're about. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're not that no, good. No, no, and I, I remember reading that, but I don't, I don't have any recollection of it either. 
but that's my the first one that comes to mind. Brigade number two. <laughs> Which I liked rubbing the butt off it. All right, we'll just we'll narrow it down. What was your favorite issue of uh, Ultra, Ultraverse Exiles? <laughs> uh, the last they died. <laughs> of course, I guess that would go. The last saying. one because I didn't have to buy anymore. <laughs> Yeah, probably so. <laughs> well, so what's your favorite issue of Fantastic Four then? That was easy for me, for me and Corey and, and me. 200. 200. Where Dr. Yep. and Mr. Fantastic finally face off. What was the deal with Dr. Doom's son? Was that his actual son? Or was that some kind of a clone? Okay. Yeah. Oh, no! Yeah. Wow. And then, of course, when Dr. Clock. Doom got his... His uh, ass kicked. No, he got face mask his uh, sanity back. Wait, when? I don't remember. But it was what? A Wait, how did he lose his sanity? For some reason. Was he when, part of that that seance no, there, in the, sp the, the spectacular Spider-Man? The end of the story. He was in this room filled with mirrors. Yes. And Reed put, took his face mask yes. off. Yes. And he and freaked out. He was like, "Oh my God, I'm so ugly!" Oh, and that's when he lost his sanity. Yeah. And then it was. It had to be room full of mirrors. An He's annual later crystal. where he suddenly gets his sanity back and you're like, oh boy, these guys are screwed. Now, if, I don't know hold if you're on, reading. Hold on, I just want to remind everybody, there is no sanity clause. So we're talking about... Ho, ho, ho. Didn't well, you indeed call my client a ho? Not once, but Chris, three times. Christmas is canceled. Your world <laughs> is about to change. Yeah, what do you expect from a festivice? Uh, so... In an annual, he got his sanity back. I think and, so. I was going to ask the stroll. Uh, yeah, I, not, that's I not coming remember. to me. It was just a short story, but I don't know if it was... It was a... Uh, oh, here it is. It was one of Burns' stories. Burns' the one who fixed Doom. In an annual? No. It was in a... I don't remember what one of Terror in a Tiny Town. <clears throat> was that Burns' that first Doctor Doom story? That may have been and, where they explained it. Might yeah. have been the setup, yeah. Which was the 20th anniversary of the Fantastic Four. Oh, I got it back. Oh, the 20th anniversary of the Hulk was the Hulk with a rocket raccoon. Speaking of which, incredible Hulk. I don't know if you've been. Uh, Speaking of rocket, you know raccoon. about the Invincible Iron Man or Doom? When Tony Stark allegedly was is it dead, a crossover? Uh, sort Invincible of, and Iron Man. When Tony Stark was dead again, uh, a young woman took up his mantle as Iron Man, but Doom also took up an Iron Man. Okay, yeah. And he was running around trying with, to be a good guy. Yeah, and. At the end of that run, or was it the beginning of FF, they scarred up his face again. Whatever. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. So oh. Doom is back. And Professor X is back in the wheelchair again for the 40th. But the problem is, Doom is being the godfather of Valerie. Yes. So they just had a crossover where Doom kind of... Cows. Cows! No. No. Moving. Corey, I hate to say it, that's the source of milk. Think of that the next time you have your... Beef, Free, freaky cereal, Roast beef sandwich. I, I don't, I don't mind using the animal. I just don't want it dead. Well, that's sick. You eat an animal, animal Anyways, alive like that. But he somehow kind of a they decided umpire. Doom's a villain again, but now they're giving him his own series. Uh, okay, yeah. Well, the Joker had his own series back in the seventies when oh, I started so reading comics. Had a Joker on the bus. But it has that series. I mean, it's huge. What's he got? Like Brave and Bold, DC I want to read them. Got all his. Um, I think it's all the Bronze Age appearances. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. So you get the laughing fish. You get the Joker. You get an issue of the Joker that had never been printed before. Oh, was it a canceled comics cavalcade? I yeah. believe so. Yeah, one of them. I remember when that series was hot, hot because I actually ended up getting it all when it was hot. I had that. I just had this compulsion. Anytime something was hot, like you want all over, of a sudden, overspend. Night, yeah, Night Nurse was hot. Oh, oh I gotta get I it. Need all those. Yeah. Oh, look, Dark Shadows. The good uh, was a gold key. Yeah, the, that's hot. I get that. Latest, lately, though, I've got this compulsion where it's like I just throw them away, and I get to the point where like you know I'm done with it. I stop it. And then like use as part. Eight issues water. later, it stops, and like oh, I gotta go get all the issues. Have a complete run. Yeah. yeah. Why yeah. you stopped it? Uh. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, but now you can get the end of the story. Yes. Although usually I hop off at an end of a story, so it's like, why do I need to waste my money on the rest? It's something John Nunziata told me years ago. It's like, if you buy a miniseries, get the full run. It's easier to sell as a complete run oh, than as well, an individual. Yeah, yeah. 
And that was... Uh, and he's right, but... That, that wasn't in the earliest of John's days, because there were no miniseries. A Baba limited series. Baba. What was the first miniseries? It was... Uh, World of Krypton, I believe. Yeah, I was, World of Krypton. I was going to say something about Krypton. You were not. You were going to say there's another subway. Oh, I'm going there. Oh, we're going. Oh, we're going, all right. Yep. And the first Marvel one, was that Wolverine? No. I Hercules? Contest of Champions. Oh, uh, yes, it was. Yes, it yeah, was. Yeah, because that was the, uh, yep. it was going to be a treasury edition. Yes, it was. For the Olympics. And then yeah. we didn't go to those Olympics. Thanks, Jimmy. I hated comics anyways. Yeah, peanut head. Now, do you ever have that compulsion, Corey, or much like when you, ah, I'm dropping this series, then you hear it, it gets canceled like five to ten issues later, like, ah, maybe I'll get the rest of them. It depends on if, why I dropped it. You know, if I dropped it because I didn't like it, <laughs> why? You know, why bother? No. But sometimes it's like, okay, well, if, if it only went for like four, four or five more issues, maybe I'll just read the end of the story. Yeah. If I was reading something, or if I was even going back and reading something, I would be compelled to read all of it. I wouldn't, wouldn't be satisfied with like 27 of yeah. 32 issues. Or... Yeah, exactly. You see, I broke myself of that habit. Yeah, you, you have to. I thank Tom DeFalco for it. Because? <laughs> because he was on the Fantastic Four, and I hated, hated, hated it. Mm -hmm. And eventually, you know, and I had a run going all the way back to Fantastic Four number 100. Yeah. But you just and didn't I need said, to... I, I can't justify reading this or buying Oh, uh, he anymore. missed the Miss Things saga. Just... No, 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 I, I read that one. Oh, okay. Or how that, about, that, when, the how about when the Beyonder was said you're not really a Beyonder, you're part of Mon Mo Molecule what? Man and a... It was when a um, sentient Reed cosmic and Ken, Dr. Doom died. Oh. And it just went on and on and on. Yeah, but then that's when you got Miss Mr. or Miss the Invisible Woman wearing the uh, the Invisible outfit. Yeah. yeah, she wore the outfit with the four cut out of. Nothing the, says yeah. I'm grieved than showing off your cleavage. Or... Nothing says I'm you know the mom. Where'd that four go? That's what I'd like to know. It was just yeah. I, I think we're done here. And the, that broke me of the habit of having to have complete yeah. runs. It there, became, there are a like couple. It, it's done. Yeah, I, I rationalized myself out of it way, way back too. And it, with in my case, it probably was not having enough money, and so making the top choices at the at yeah. the uh, shelf each week. And sometimes some what might what might have kept a complete run going didn't make the cut. You know. Yeah. But I had. But I always would want to go back and get them if I could. There were always, there, I think the last one where I I stopped thinking that way, it was uh, Kurt Buzek's Avengers, which I absolutely loved. And then I stopped it when he left. Not enough to learn how to say his name. But I picked it up again, Buzak. <laughs> Buzak. Buzik. Buzak. Not He's, my fault he can't pronounce it right. He said Buzak. And then when uh, <laughs> Not my fault he can't did the, the last couple issues of uh, Avengers, what he called Disenfranchised. I don't know. Oh, disassembled. Disassembled, yes. Yeah. Just something. Yeah. Then I thought, oh, maybe I should just pick up the run in between there. Oh, it was not good. Which is weird because that was Jeff Johns. Yeah. I did not like it. My whatever, problem. Whatever they did with the Hulk, the She Hulk. She Hulk. Was like, yeah. Uh, yeah, she's never recovered. Well, I guess she did because there was that Dan slot. Yeah, there was a Dan slot. Oh, place. that was good stuff. That was top notch. Some more favorite stuff right we there. We are stopping at like 25 cheese shops, right? On the way back. Yeah. Okay, good. Now the question is, have you heard, what do they call it? G DC's doing a, another reboot, we think, called... 5G. 5G. Oh, cows. Boo. Boo. Oh, another, I call that a jumping off point. Yeah. <laughs> That's just what we were saying. It's, but the rumor is, is that... Do they, I buy 100 want, bucks or do I jump off They want to replace all the heroes with somebody new. Yeah, see that. that oh, maybe maybe we're stupid, or maybe it's just me. But I can just, I can just read about the same hero fighting the same villains for a thousand issues, <laughs> and uh, I, I get other people don't. That's not good enough. But then there was a. Uh, well, and they brought it's going to get kicked off with another crisis. So yeah. we're seeing all this stuff in DC. Oh, 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 Superman's oh. secret identity is getting revealed. We got Batman problems. And Catwoman, 
They're getting married. For real oh, this time. Oh, this don't look good. We had an accident up here. I didn't do it. Which, uh, we got a car facing the wrong way in the ditch. Looks like a trailer oh, jackknife. Oh, a trailer, That's a, a trailer flip. That is it's a so camper. Windy. It's being towed, so it wasn't one of that's just driving. Wait, was that Brian? Was that, was that Brian moving his shop? Okay, guess what? We are going to figure out a different way home. Well, on my way to see you, That'll I be... passed by a car that was on fire. Oh, jeez. A barbecue. I'm ready for morning radio. <laughs> Isn't uh, that what this is? <laughs> well, we should. That's why I always make sure I have marshmallows in the truck. You never know when you're going to pass a barbecue. May I ask a question that I can't remember enough about that maybe we sh I shouldn't start talking about in the comic books? Okay. There was okay. that in the Spectacular Spider-Man or Spider-Man comic, there was that storyline that yielded the character of uh, that young girl Spider-Woman. There was that like seance that they had where one was going to get oh, ultimate yeah. power, one was going to get death, one was going to get insanity. Oh. And Norman Osborn got insanity? Yeah. Okay, because nothing changed for him then. No. He also has recovered from his insanity, apparently? No. Well, he did, and now he's not recovered anymore. Yeah. Apparently, so it's a part-time insanity? Apparently in absolute carnage. Continuity! God. Carnage comes back from space. I'm not reading it, but I it okay. He was in space. over in the Spider-Man. Yeah. And Clay decided because anybody who's ever had the symbiote on him, a little piece is always on him, regardless. Yeah, I, I saw and something about so that. Reading the Marvel wants, previews magazine. He, the only way to get all these pieces back is to kill the people that have it. Well, Norm happened to have one. Oh, so Cletus Cassidy is Cletus, Cletus Cletus Cassidy has to kill people. Yeah. That's like us reading comics. That's like us going to KFC yeah. Buffet. But in, in Spider-Man, the one I just read is apparently... KFC yeah, Buffet. God, why was... Anyway, Norm with the symbiote in full attack mode is going after Peter Parker. The Red Goblin. Because he's trying to protect... Uh, was it Mary Jane? No, some somebody who had the symbiote on him. I think it was Mary Jane. Face it, Tyga. You just hit the jackpot. So anyways, they're fighting each other, but when he's fighting as the symbiote, Norman doesn't know who he is. Doesn't remember he's Norm Osborn. Although I think... Also, that was the case when he was the Green Goblin initially. Yeah. I mean, he might have known he was Norman Osborn, but the two weren't linked. Weren't right. mutually linked. Glued them. There you go. There you go. Road construction. Goddamn July. That's how it works, on. So what do you think about the idea that they're going to, uh, again, reveal that Superman's identity is going to be public? I would think more about it if you hadn't confused me with the way you asked the question. They're going to again reveal that Superman's identity will be made public. Well, for a while, Luther knew. Lois Lane knew. When was this while? In the New 52? Uh, it's coming up. Probably pre-52. I don't know if... Luther knows now. DC Comics. Luther's, Luther's up in the Cosmic Fair. He found, what's the name of the chick who created the monitors? And the Justice League. Jeanette Kahn. The Justice League. <laughs> are, I could be. That's what she looks like. The Justice <laughs> League like are fighting her. Cause she, the, she was oh, on the her. other side of the source wall. Now, when the source wall was destroyed, her and a bunch of other things came through. Well, how many times have we been on the other side of the source wall? Never, That's never. That's the first I've heard of it. Never. And Luther... Dead oh, dear. Benson! And Luther is... Dead raccoon. Uh, shh, don't scare Corey. Death report. Luther's no, trying to, raccoon is a dead to raccoon. control her. So... Yeah, of course. And this might be leading into the crisis. I, I don't know. But they, uh, they that story, where'd that story come out of? Superman or Justice that's, that's League? That's actually or? Justice League. Uh, right Justice now. League, yeah, outside yeah. War. Yeah, I've seen some of that. On forward with yeah. metal and now that you yeah. say it. Okay, all right. Which yeah, I actually, I've seen some of that, which was I really good stuff. I actually was toyed to start reading it until I, then I, who's doing that one? Who's writing it? Yeah. The the Justice League stuff. Anyways, when I'm he's just done, delaying until his I can remember story. What it was. Scott Snyder. Yes, his story is done because he's going to go work on that G5 thing we were talking about. Scott Snyder's done. Yeah. He's going to work on G5. All right. Which is interesting because I'm thinking I might just pick these up as graphic novels. Maybe they can just uh, 
can adapt the um, movies because they're completely different characters. Yeah. No. See, my thing is, huh? you know, if you know you're gonna hit the reset button, Godzilla. Why not do some stories with Superman's secret identity revealed and Batman? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right. That's a good no, time. Just have that's why they revealed Peter Parker's secret identity. They knew they were going to be hitting a reset button within a year or so. So it's okay. Let's do this. Let's let's play with the consequences. Oh, and Miss Athelis is going to be pissed because Mary and Jane and Peter are together again. But they're well, not married. Well, not married. And in Marvel time, that's like two weeks. Miss Athelis just did that in another storyline. Oh, no, that's Took his, away somebody's That's wife. his thing, huh? I, I don't know. I it don't was the champions. That's my was. gimmick. Was it champions? I thought he just did oh, it in Doctor no. Strange. Did he take away the Black he Widow? He might have done something in Doctor Strange, but in Champions, um, a number of the characters got killed. Hercules, Ghost Rider, and um, Iceman, the Black Widow. showed up and told Miles Morales, tell you what, Johansson. we'll go back in time and you can save him. <coughs> but. No, there was no but. Oh. You have to shave your head. But. The consequence was innocent civilians were killed instead. Ooh. So Miles Morales is carrying the guilt of that. Oh, he went back and saved him? Yeah. Well, he's not my Spider-Man. Yeah, my Spider-Man would never make a deal with Mephisto. <laughs> <laughs> See, in, in Doctor Strange, he took Clea's love from Doctor Strange. Interesting. Um, and that had something to do with... Now she loves one of the mindless ones. Galactus, like... <laughs> absorbed not only he was absorbing all these magical universes and ended up destroying it. Wait, who was? So, Galactus. Galactus was absorbing. Some guy in, in a bid to save his world from the Galactus Gladys. threw Galactus into the magic realm, and of course, magic is a form of energy. You know what Galactus likes? Well, let's just say not he, much. He ate more than you eating meatloaf. It oh was amazing. My God, but I he don't also went insane doing not it. Not magic meatloaf. He went insane. Ooh, the, magic dreaded, meatloaf. the dreaded Dormu was trying to nah, control us, but he didn't, he lost control of Galactus. Uh, the Living Tribunal and... The Last Galactus story. It? What's he called? The, the Jack Kirby of, of all? The one, one, above, one all. above all. Basically told Doctor Strange, yeah, you fucked up. So he went and had to recreate the universe again. Again? But one of the, one of the, I think, somewhere in the storyline... He's got that in his back pocket he anytime he needs it. He had to give up it. his love to get uh, Mistopheles to help him, he said, you have, you have to give up your love for Clea. Oh, who needs that cry And so when help. he went and he, he went to go <laughs> see Clea, she didn't have any, you know, she's like, yeah, thank you, Dr. Strange, no big deal. And he was like, oh. He had to start over from he was scratch. Kinda, he was kind of like, Just like Joe with Chris every day. Oh, yeah, but she went. <laughs> but she, didn't she dump him ages ago? Uh, they, yeah, irrelevant. They still had affection for each other. Now she doesn't. Oh. Uh, she either doesn't know who uh, he is, or uh, just like, yeah, you're a Sister Supreme, whatever. So I'm like, yeah, oh, but it's like your high, it's like your college girlfriend when you visit her 20 years later. Yeah, I know you. But you if he could win her over the first time, he could repeat. Rinse and repeat. Maybe not. No, because he has to defeat Dormammu. No, instead. No, he's got a more. Dormammu. He's got a more insidious. Mama. A more insidious fall. In order to. Below. In order to recreate the universe, he uh, <clears throat> he made a deal with. Apparently, there's this place where the worst spells ever are like held, and you but, can go and check out these books anytime you want. But it, uh, Mark Wayne's had this thing where magic has its price. Uh, so in order to cast a certain spell, it recreated his hands. He's now a back piece. Oh. He, can, he has a surgery So he can back. reopen his uh, doctor Well, practice. the question is now, what's he going to be? Is he going to be a surgeon or yeah. a s sturgeon supreme? Yeah, yeah. He's going to just he's going to go back to his uh, three days a week. So you're kind of like, okay, that's kind of interesting. Didn't Mark Wade create uh, Jack Kirby as the one above all? Yes. Well, in the Fantastic Four. That's coming full circle. Jack. Good job, Jack. Good job, Jack. Jack, you listening? They named a drink after you, you know. Good job. Jack, Jack, Jack. Samurai Jack. <sighs> I remember when my parents got a Kirby vacuum cleaner, and I was like, that makes me 
makes me happy. I just, I had to pull out the Kirby vacuum cleaner and clean all the mold and crap off of it so I could use it on the rug. That sucks. Yeah, yes. Wait, you did cleaning and you didn't let me do it? <laughs> Are you the cleaner? I guess we're still friends. <laughs> okay. Cool. I didn't wear a cleaner shirt today. When Corey came over, I had to clean the house before I got there because, you know, as part of the deal, if Corey cleans your house, you're no longer friends. Oh. Yeah, but at least you get a clean house. Yeah. What Corey doesn't realize is that there are millions of women in the United States that don't want to be his friends that would appreciate the cleaner. But Corey he doesn't realize that? He refuses to. Oh, no, to I realize that. Oh, I was going to say. I know that there are millions of women who want nothing to do with me. But <laughs> would, accept, would accept the cleaner's own. In fact, Chris was most insistent upon it, but we left. I'm not wearing stay? the cleaner shirt today. Yeah, you can't do it. I got a, I got a much better shirt on. Whoa. Oh, I thought I that saw was, it. But whoa. I thought that was your chest hair. Oh, we're in the New Japan Pro Wrestling. My favorite promotion. Yep, nothing but some pro. That wrestling. one I haven't watched. I've watched some highlight shows, but yeah, not, not much. It? If you can get your hands on Kenny Omega versus Okada, there are three matches. Yeah. That's the best wrestling I've ever watched. Ever. Ever. Watched. Ever. And that's where this... Because I'm not hip to the Kenny Omega thing yet. Yet. Well, good luck. Watch those matches and you'll you'll know that both of them are like the, the best guys working today. Is, is Okada still in New Japan then? Oh, yeah. He's the champ uh, for now uh, to Wrestle Kingdom. When? Uh, Wrestle Kingdom's always right after New Year, so... Baron Von Rashley coming out of retirement. They retire. That is all the people need to know. I heard you're from Nebraska. That is Rick Tick. Now, who's he taking on at, uh, Wrestle Kingdom? I think it's Kobashi. No, it's not Kobashi. Kilbasa. Now I have to look. Ah, it's Kilbasa. And then Graham Chapman's coming back to wrestle himself. Oh, he is. It's Kenny Omega's former partner. Uh -huh. Graham Chapman? When they were the Golden Lovers. Oh, Kenny Alpha? Alpha Elf, Alpha? Elf. Alpha. <laughs> Elf. Ah, I slay me. Uh, hey, Willie. Pause. Did you figure out what happened to your uh, your box of comics? I have not got a call, a email back from. Uh, service okay. and I sent it Friday after from Jimmy's yeah. box of comics Corey got somebody else's comics oh and he is Kota such a, Ibushi he is such a nice guy he didn't read them gotcha it's Kota Ibushi who was Kenny Kota. Omega's bar partner Ibushi. in the Golden Lovers are we in the are we in the right lane or left lane or the correct lane no there was a, a side back there trucks in the left lane and they're all like hey we'll stay in the right lane now I'll do what I want I do what I want I do what I want Maybe uh, the, the Corey's box of comics went to the same place that our uh, dresser went. So, oh, could be. Maybe maybe Corey got a dresser instead I, of comics. Well, on on Monday make me sad. On Monday we couldn't get it until Saturday. When it wasn't there today, I can have it here tomorrow. You'll have it on Sunday, huh? Yeah. Well, you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it good. I, 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 yeah, just go to Target buy a plastic one. Yep. Yeah, this doesn't match. <laughs> so what's your favorite issue of Thor? So you didn't read the second part of the Millennium Legion yet? No, but I hear the Legion actually shows up at the very, very end. Yeah. I enjoyed this story, though. I think it's, it's almost, it should have been like a prologue, though. I agree. Instead of, this is the Legion. No, it isn't. Give me a brief synopsis of what, what am I missing? Uh, a, a mysterious uh, It's woman. a Rose and Thorn story okay. that says it's a Legion story. What's is happening? it really? Well, yes. it's a prologue. What happens is DC is lining up all their divergent histories mm -hmm. into one timeline. So you know when OMAC was. You know Emphasis when Commander was. You know when Booster Gold was. And at the end of it is the Legion of Superheroes. Uh-oh. And there's so many different teasers out there. The, like when the Time Trapper's going to be sorry to hear that. I he might be one of them. Oh. But when you're in, like, Booster's, Booster hits on Thorn. It's like, hey. Dead Raccoon. I really dig you because you're like, you look like a 20th century, you're in the 20th century get up. 
And so he, he said, why don't we hop in the time cube and go back and, and like, get a real sandwich? And she blows him <laughs> off. But in the meantime, you're looking back and you see, what the fuck? Yeah, we got some. <laughs> real, okay, time for Cray to bitch about traffic. Real Holy fucking crap, what? Get off the goddamn road, you motherfucker. Not that side, the other side. There's no shoulder. What do you do with your arms? Okay. Okay, we're past that now. They might have been working on something. They're working. So, as she's no, going through these talk my back. it's a work. In Boosters, we see... <laughs> Pictures of the crisis. We see all the stuff we grew up with are like displays in the background. Doomsday fighting Superman. It but all, all the stuff pre-52. So, and like Corey said, they're, they're dropping hints left and right. So when was Kill Raven in the War of the Worlds? Ah, that, that was right after Marvel. When was Iron Man 2020? You missed it. It was 1998. <laughs> oh, the Jetsons. Yeah. It was the Jetsons. They're at the bottom of the... You didn't uh, see they canceled Iron Man in December because January, Iron Man 2020. Iron Man 2020. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yes. wonder where they're going with that. Herb Trimpey won't be drawing it, though. Remember oh, buying that the first time and going, oh, oh 2020, that's, that's a 40 years from now. That's a forever. Here we are. No way I'll make it that long. The t- Days of Future Past took place in what, 2015 or what? something? Yeah. You're talking about Gruber? Like, Days of Future Past? Unbelievable. Right that Kitty, that, Pr- Kitty Pride is old now. That should have been a crazy story. It was going to be a crazy Oh, that's where it I was. Yeah, that's where I was headed. I had 100 issues of Cray ready to go, as I always say. Do you have any issues of Cray? Yeah. Can I yeah. get some from you? Can I get some? Well, I don't have any extras. Oh, okay. I, maybe yeah. I, I want to use those as a Joe Price. <laughs> Oh, oh, wow, yeah. yeah, yeah. Send them out. I had to tell Jess to print some up. Print some up, Jess. Second I, printing. Yeah, what's the matter? Now, this is like 25th printing. That's How rare is this issue? Oh, it's rare as the first second one. Second printing. Very 25, rare. 25 years later. Yeah, it was eight more. And he can put the blurb. Still 25 cents. Still Fresh. only eight more copies. Hot diggity dog. That's a much more. Uh, whenever they put the still, you knew the price was going up within a month or two. Yeah. Well, I seem to recall 50 to 60 without any fanfare. What, when the prices went up? Yeah. Of, on comics? I talked to somebody oh. I went to high school with. He said, oh. yeah, I quit buying comics when they were no longer 25 cents. <laughs> when they were still only 25 cents. When they went to 30 cents, when, it's like, ah, no. no. They're the, too expensive. When the still only blurb came on, I quit. I quit. That's still only 25 cents. That's too much. When they were 25 cents, regular 25 cents. Good. Okay, you know Still you know, only 25 you know cents? You know what's funny? Too much. We missed the Menominee exit. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, we, white man? <laughs> well, I didn't see any of you guys yelling. I don't oh, care. Sure. <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. Oh. Ah, maybe it's up here. Riotous. Riotous. No, no, it's up here. That's Righteous? Thought that we missed it. No, because I'm like, you know Claire, 22 miles. Wait a minute. Where's Menominee? It's right here. Uh, you can, Corey, don't worry, Corey can edit that out like he does everything else. Nah, that's the best part when Joe's wrong. <laughs> and Joe apologizes and for the I air. apologize for wasting these seconds. Holy shit, six miles away. Next exit, six, six miles. miles. Exit the right, that exit. one mile. And Joe apologizes for the error. I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. We're so sorry. 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 Terribly so sorry. Very, very sorry. We're going for Broadway. Food exit 45. Food. Where the bucket of spaghetti? Hot diggity dog. Yeah. I my we, get, we gotta ask Brian where to get a bucket of spaghetti. <clears throat> where to get a bucket of spaghetti around here? Well, I'm going to take this one and hope we find what we're looking for. Bet it'll be an important building. Because God knows everything else is important building. Jeez. Gosh. Gosh. Jesus, gosh. Sweet jumping Jesus on a pogo stick, people. Menominee. 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 I know what one of the employees will be running the place today. Hey, I, I'm a little confused. What's that restaurant? Eat. 
Listen, you guys better not take this trip without me. Why? Because we're gonna eat! Oh, there is that. <gasps> hey, it's Walmart Distribution Center. Let's go in and get the new comics. Yeah. Hey, can we have them? Nah, dude. We have to send them back. Never last. Hey, Walmart? Can we get the new... Is Sam home? Chuck or treat. Walmart? Look we at the size order. of that dump. Jeez, we got Louise. orders not to fulfill these for until next year. Probably squirrel away in some uh, shelf in there and set up an apartment. Didn't that happen in real life? Some girl like lived in a Walmart for like six months before they discovered her. No, but that'd be cool. Or is that just a movie? Who's that sleeping in that bed? Who's that sleeping in the bed? Was it Mannequin? Was the movie Mannequin? Nothing's gonna stop us now. Nothing's gonna stop us. Mannequin two. Mannequin on the moon. Mannequin two. Sweet. Put electric boogaloo. Mannequin too sweet. And no one does the wolf back this way. Now that he's that way. Okay, now I really don't know where we are. Well, Culver's is 2.8 miles. We can ask there. This is a divided highway. Culver's has grilled cheese sandwiches. <laughs> I can eat there. Okay. Never gonna happen. Same with Five Guys. Their grilled cheese is actually really all, all alternate Interstate 94. We're gonna go to Five Guys. What'll Corey eat? Peanuts. Coming up 600th Street, Joe. Ah, that's what I get for using this old fashioned technology. Maps. Ah, ah, maps. Is there a comic shop in that cornfield? We might be passing a comic shop. The comic shop. Hey, there's a bunch of garbage for free. Oh. Yay. You know what? did miss the first Menom Menominee? No, the first Menominee. Yes. Yes, I knew that. Oh, I think of it was when we passed that truck. I knew it as soon as you hollered at us. Stupid trucks! I'm going to move a thousand miles from the big city and live on a highway. <laughs> yep. Ain't Make better. sure it's a freeway. Make sure it's an interstate, alternate interstate freeway. Your corn's all dead. Harvest dead. Oh, look at them poor sunflowers. They're dead too. Oh, they were coughing up seeds last week. It's October. Everything's dead. Look at that truck. Dead. Dead. Look at that dead person. October. Uh, everything's dead. Alive. And and if you're driving along here, everything's looking pretty good, really. A lot of green. Some of the leaves, half the leaves are still on most of the trees. Some of the half of the trees that the half of the leaves are on. Half the leaves are on half the trees. That the, half the leaves, the leaves are, on. are on half of those trees and the other half. No, no, not there. Those ones. Them. That them one. Right there. Them ones. Look at that tree. Uh, that, that's it. That's the Hot snot! We in Menominee! Oh, uh, Menominee. And that's bullshit! That's bullshit. <laughs> Menominee! Is there a wrestling matches here this weekend? Bullshit. I could be. Down yeah, we're far the, enough outside of the city. Down at the VHF. Be. We got a call on UHF. And the BBC! What, do we look like tourists? Hey, look! Randy Mantooth! There's a, is he? Really? There he is. Rampart. Dun, 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 dun. I'm telling you, that Nurse Ratchet had it. Nurse, nurse Ratchet. <laughs> You're thinking of the wrong Nurse Ratchet. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking of the other Nurse Ratchet. Nurse Kravitz. Gladys Kravitz. Lenny, Lenny Ratchet. Oh, there's a good place for a hot comic. Yep. Oddly That's what enough, I've been trying to tell the whole enough, city of Menominee. There should be a comic store around here somewhere. You should see Brian's car there at the Cancun Mexican Grill. Do they have buckets of scatty there? Pistol piece. It's weird how you can do 
one thing, and that's all anybody knows you. <laughs> Pumpkins for sale. There's no one there selling them. Sneak up and grab. Just leave a five under this rock. There's that Culver's, Corey. It's following us. What the name of grilled cheese sandwiches are you talking about? We are exactly 2.8 miles from that sign. Uh, seems like it's just a couple minutes ago. <laughs> no referral needed. Physical and massage nice. therapy. Well, yeah, we found our spot. On the tractors. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Ooh. And John Anunziata's uh, gas pumps. Yield to Paz. Giant Paz. Giant Paz. I can't believe Giant Paz made it in a Marvel movie. Absurd. Did whoever coined that term get uh, creators credit on that? Giant. Giant Pez. It's lost. Mattress sale today only. Today only. I got a mattress. Just. Oh, I I have a mattress. It's the equivalent of a. You ever see? You ever leave a an old shoe beneath a pile of crap like in the laundry? And when you oh there it is. It's just flat as a pancake. Then you wrap it in a barbed wire like a like a Kenny Omega broom. <laughs> That's my mattress. You know why? The kid, on the other hand, just got a new mattress. Because Butch is extreme. I guess. I, oh, my back pain is extreme. Wait a minute. What What the heck's that <laughs> out the lake? It's that, like somebody lost a house. That's a there. ski jump. Oh. That's a ski jump. Looks like somebody's house. Topper, simple sport. I smell um like grilled meats. Joe? Just went by Grilled Burger meats. King. Look for oh, Jesus. Four I thought, I, thought four I smelled... 424. There's Game Quest. Video games. Event Center. 424. 424. 424. 424. 9 tonight. 311. 305. We passed it. We passed? Yep. Fuck. Yep. We passed out. We passed away. We a lot of antique shops. Look at this. Turn event. around. Look at this Avengers Mansions. Is that what that is? Is Tony Stark dead again? Yeah, I think I've kind of hit the wall on uh, characters die and doesn't mean anything. Jean Grey, wasn't that like the first major character death? No. It was Gwen Stacy. Oh, yes. Yep. See, all I have to do is and say she's it. She's still dead. I'm doing a weather check. And now here's Butch with eyewitness weather. Well, it's a little cool out. Eyewitness weather. <laughs> no, give me the intro again. And now here's Butch with eyewitness weather. Was a beautiful 61 degree day yesterday. What's it like today? I don't know. I did the eyewitness weather. Well, look out the window. <laughs> I got time hey, look, for that crap. There's two old ladies mugging a grad student. I'm going to call the weather muggy. Hey, Corey, why do you follow uh, cosplay girls? And that's why. Because we can. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna, Who's that, Cloudy? I'm going to go try for that lady. Right? I don't know who it is. Don't much care. Damn. Now, what am I looking at, or am I just holding this? You're just holding that. That's her. There she is again. I get a that's, chance to That's her. her. Oh my goodness. You literally. Hey, a lot of neat antique shops. Log here. jam. Did you, oh, here it is. So where the hell is the recorder going? The recorder. Is it still going? It's, it's That's what I love about old clicking. towns are just the uh, the buildings. The potential. 424 should be on your side. Four, two, four, two, four, two, four, two, four. There it ain't. And and there's a hair Jim studio. Bell. And a, next to the hair studio. Let's go in and get buzzed. Where are we going? Main Street Pizza. Oh, Plaza. They got pizza, though. <laughs> <laughs> Game Quest. California. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Should be on that block. Uh -huh. oh, I should have brought my bike. I'm just like bicycle repair. <laughs> Let's say we talk about the shop and then we'll head up to Brian. <laughs> All right, we just stopped at Heroes Welcome. Comics and Games, 424 Main Street, Menominee, Wisconsin. Da -do -do -do. 
Uh, what'd you think? Another nice place. Very nice setup. Um, again, gaming it's, uh, in the back. Gaming focused. They had games going on while we, we were there, and there was somebody whose character was getting uh, injured. <laughs> Yeah, I talked to the guy there. I, I told him we'd, we'd be doing the podcasting and I uh, mentioned in his shop. I ended up buying, I got a cracked magazine that looked kind of interesting. Marvel 7 to finish my set. That was oh, a goofy. Oh, Marvel, like yeah. Smallville. Oh, yeah. That, okay. that goofy Ville. thing that, what was his name, Jameis was doing? Yep. Yeah, Bill And uh, Jameis, apparently Jameis. it has nothing to do with the story. It's just... Like, it's how to submit books for Epic. Epic, which obviously was a great idea since they don't use it anymore. Um, yeah, they do. They use it for the Epic collections, and they use the same E they use for Epic Comics in those Epic collections. That's until they, you know, Disney gets hold of them and says, ah, no, we'll put it under the mouse. Uh, especially when they use uh, Epic. I did pick up two uh, special edition Angelas. Remember McFarland Toys? The gold and the blue. God! They weren't expensive. I just figured fun ones open. Pat, no lack of toys. What'd you get, Mr. Strode? Um, they had the Solomon Kane miniseries that Dark Horse did. And I doubt uh, Marvel's going to be reprinting that miniseries since uh, <laughs> it didn't sell real well when it came out uh, out of their quarter bin. Quarter bin? I was going to ask how much were those books. So they had a, they had a, several quarter boxes. Yep, they had a bunch of quarter boxes, books that were bagged and boarded. Some $5 graphic novels. Um... Then I also was able to get Sock Monkey, the complete set by Tony oh, Millionaire. Oh man, I haven't seen that book in years. The man who gave us uh, Mackies and one of the greatest cartoons of all time, Drinky Crow. Drinky cool. Crow. Drinky Crow. <laughs> Which I only remember. That's from awesome. Those are like series. Oh, Corey man. saying it. Yeah. Oh, oh Drinky Crow. There was a. Uh, they did a series on uh, Cartoon Network. Did they? Yep. Oh, That's wow. part of Adult Swim. Wow. Oh, it was fun. Yeah. And drinking. take a right turn. They say no left turn, but I take a right turn. All right. One way. The sun said one way. Ah, you didn't see that, did you, Copper? <laughs> Coppers. Uh, and that was the name of Pizza Place, Toppers. Yeah, Toppers. Maybe we'll come back to it if you guys oh, want to crap, pizza. look at all those Toppers. So, that was kind of a, uh, that was going to be our second stop, but because we were so Brought diligent it. and missed our way into <clears throat> Menominee. That became our first stop. So, nice guy. You know, he talked to us when we came in. And I didn't catch his name, though, because I wasn't that, you know, diligent. <laughs> I'm so ashamed. Gamer Joe. Gamer Joe. They did have some really nice back issues, though. I was looking at some of them, and, you know, the same thing. You're like, oh, my God, I can't believe that's worth 70 bucks. I sold it when it was a quarter. Yeah, looking at the prices on it. What I, throw nothing away. what I think when I see those high priced books, you walk in and you see books that you bought off the spin rack, Corey, for 120 bucks or yeah. $200. Oh. And I think, what if you were a kid working today at a you know convenience store or something and you thought, I want to start collecting all those old comics? Yeah. Oh. I did. And we, I got them for a quarter, no tax, because they yeah. didn't tax yeah, books. Yeah, books. Right yeah, there. and uh, the kids got to go buy them all for 100 bucks. I did uh, pick up a or local just, book. Uh, look at the reprints on he the is wants to collect all the original books. Look, there's a good spot for a comic shop. Oh, cool! He did have a nice display of local book books, guys who published yeah. in town here. Good point. And some printed in Minnesota. I did pick up one and put uh, it back on the shelf. No, I should oh, pick it up. You bought it. I'll review it in a future episode. Okay, now we're on our way to I think it's the K lake. and B collectibles. Oh, I thought we was going to the and it beach. should be. Uh, Son of a fairly beach. easy to spot. Look at that house. Yeah, there's some really crazy architecture here. And a subway. And fortune cookie. I'm not going to starve to death. They got me a subway. Yo, as long as it's up the street from my shop, that's why I put the shop where Look I did. Look at that. Look at the skitty. Walk it, old subway. I got me <laughs> two meatballs today. <laughs> I got a bucket of skitty with two meatballs. A pound per each. So I can live in Menominee. They got a comic shop. Good enough. Good to know. And a nice lake. Yeah, this is really pretty. Some fall colors out there. We must be traveling over a dam. Resist. Look how high it is over here and how low it is over there. I'm going to go on that ski jump. Yeah, yeah, I'll put you on a ski jump. I, 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 I. 
Yeah, but Wals you never Walski. snatch a round. Good old Wolski Bay. Lakeside Park. It seems pretty vague. Where is it? Lakeside hey, Park. Hey, a pubic library. Uh, sorry, Joe. There's an L. Oh. Did we say that on the way to uh, Lubick, Granite City, and we Bron lost Julie for about 20 miles? The Bronco Lubick Library? Something about pubic storage. <laughs> just she's just not used to our humor. Why do you want to attack Bill in our house? <laughs> <laughs> Just up the street, the now, small I, town. It's a hundred miles. I am going 35 because I don't want to get busted by no cops. Bait on Broadway. Live bait and tackle. Cut right meat shop. Man. Ten off burger. Parkside bottle. Motel. Never had a murder yet. A rolling advertisement for Menominee, Wisconsin. Never had a murder yet. They crossed out the never. There have been some deaths here, but they weren't murderers. They weren't no. murderers. Hey, hey! There she is. Manslaughter. There, now that's a sign. Yeah, it is. You can tell where it is right away. Yeah, it's just, well, it's the first thing you see coming into this. Now the question is, which side do we go? The new go. side of town. Look at the, bu oh, the bike this, for each of us. This looks like it was a, a Perkins or something. Yeah, it looks like it was a <laughs> yeah, Dairy Queen. Was a restaurant. It was a Dairy Queen. Cool. Now we'll find out if it is Brian's shop or not. We have our issues with Dairy Queen. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. It was Brian's shop. And in the future, we have a podcast to talk about what it was like at the shop. That'll be one that'll be coming in the uh, in the future. Because all of us are interested in the future. Because it is where we will spend the rest of our lives. I'll probably be using that as a fill-in episode. Uh, because Joe and I re are, are back recording. But there you go. That's uh, part one of our road trip to Menominee. I want to thank you for listening. And we'll be back next week. And remember, the comic we like the least, we still like better than the comic that you uh, like the most. Hit my music. We done, bitches.